There's no landmark in Seattle more famous than this one. With its concrete legs, spaceship-like head, and towering 40-foot spire, the Space Needle has been a Seattle icon for more than half a century. In one of their original sketches, it looked like a giant tethered balloon. But a later design, resembling a flying saucer, won out. The Space Needle was completed on December 8, 1961, in just 400 days. At 605 feet, it won the honor of being the tallest structure west of the Mississippi. It's been a Seattle icon ever since. The engineering of the Space Needle is so precise, the rotating restaurant on top only needs a one and a half horsepower motor to keep it spinning. During the World's Fair in 1962, a more than 40-foot natural gas torch burned from the Space Needle's roof. Today, the torch has been replaced by an aviation beacon, which helps pilots of seaplanes like this one avoid collisions with the needle when they come in to land on Lake Union. It's why the powerful beacon on the spire's tip needs to work properly 24-7. Engineer Valerie Palinchuk is halfway through his climb up the tower's 40-foot spire. The Space Needle was engineered to withstand up to 200 mile per hour winds. But up here, it's easy to get seasick. For every 10 miles per hour of wind, the Space Needle sways one inch. Once Valerie reaches the top, he fastens himself on tight with clips and lanyards. He's now more than 600 feet over the streets below. For those brave enough to make this climb, there's no more thrilling spot to take in the city of Seattle than this.